Hello, I'm very happy to present you the Golden Touch from Testo Point. It allows you to test any gold from 9 carats to 22 carats. The small device is also very reliable and easy to use. This tutorial will show you how to do this. First of all, let's see what do we have inside this box. A small guide that quickly explains to you how to use the Golden Touch. We have the testing device, 50 testing stripes, and a battery. Okay, now let's have a closer look to the Golden Touch. We have the main knob here with different options that goes from 9 carats gold to 22 carats gold. We even have a test mode. There is the indicator that shows you if your device is either on or not. We have a thread that allows you to put the stripes into the testing area. On the side, you have the alligator clip to clip the piece of gold you are testing. And on the back, you have the battery location to put the battery on. Our technician will now explain to you further the gold testing part. We are now going to do the first test that you should do with this device, which is the test to recognize if the gold item is a solid gold or made of plated gold. To do so, we're, gonna, we're going to switch the rotary knob into test mode here. So it is under test mode that we can see if there is a gold content. And then you can uh, take a gold item and we advise you to clean it before testing with a cleaning cloth or with the rubber, especially the area where you're going to test. Or the best is to file it so that if there is a thicker plating gold, it will go away and it will be more easy for the device to recognize if it's plated gold. Let's start with this item. The process is that you clip the item here and then you hold the item in your fingers. You make a contact for 3-4 seconds between the item and the testing strip and then you gently slide the item on the strip. Here you can see that the item at the beginning leaves a very slight mark and then there is no mark anymore. This proves that it is plated gold. If it was solid gold, it will leave a continuous line. Now we're going to test a second item, this gold coin here. Same process. I put it in contact with the testing strip and be careful not to press too much it can uh, destroy the testing strip so you have to gently slide it sideways here you can see that there is a marking there is an orange brown line and if I continue the marking continues all along so we can say that here this gold coin is made of solid gold. You can see a very sharp difference between plated gold here, which leaves a very little mark, and solid gold, which leaves a long and continuous line. We are now going to show you how to test the purity of a gold item. As you can see in the reader here, there are different uh, purity levels. It starts with 9 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat, and 22 carat. The basic principle behind uh, purity test is that when we put the node on a certain reading, for example 22 carat, when we drag the item on the testing strip, it should give us a full line of marking. If it, doesn't if it does not give us a full line of marking, that means that there is not enough gold purity to sustain the marking at 22 carat. So we will go down to 18 carat level and repeat the process. And again, if it gives a full line, it will be 18 carat. If not, we will go down to the next level and repeat the process again. Let's start with this item. As we advise always, it's good to clean the item, not only for dirt, but also to remove or at least to weaken any layer of a different purity of gold that could be applied on the item. So we can use a paper, paper cloth that I show you or an eraser, right? or better still, 
a file and you only file the specific spots where you want to test for example this inferior edge here also before testing it's good that you choose a specific edge on the item for example we will test on this part here always so that we will get we will get consistent readings so now I will clip the item make sure you clip the item properly so that the electricity can can go through the item in an efficient way and then I will switch on the machine and go to 22 karat reading alright so let's see if it gives us a full line Okay, I make contact with the paper strip and then I wait 3-4 seconds and start dragging as you can see on the camera here there is a marking at the beginning and then you can see that the marking is diminishing and here eventually the marking is disappearing so here you can see that there is not enough gold to sustain a full proper line at 22 karat so it is not a 22 karat item we will go down to 18 karat and repeat the process let's see if we get a full line so again I make a contact for 3-4 seconds and then I start dragging so here again we can see that there is a marking at the beginning here and if I continue the marking again is disappearing or getting weaker meaning that there is not enough purity to sustain a full strong marking at 18 karat well, let's see to the lower level a lower one more 14 karat let's see what marking we will have maintain 3 4 second and then I drag and here you can see that the beginning of the marking is much sharper darker more concentrated and the line is completely different it's a full line of marking and it's a very strong marking so here you can see that this item on a 14 karat settings is giving us a full proper line here if I continue the item has no problem to sustain the marking so it is very obvious that you see here at 22 karat the marking was too weak at 18 it was a little bit better but still very weak but at 14 it gives you a full marking so this item here is a 14 karat at least we are now going to test a second gold item to see its purity uh, in this specific case it is a gold coin so I'm going to clip the gold coin here and then we will switch on the machine and go to 22 karat as we said we always start with the highest karat for testing the purity so again as I said before if it leaves us a full mark on 22 karat then it will mean that it is at least 22 karat because in this case this machine will not be able to tell if it's more than 22 karat for example 24 karat but we will know for sure that it is 22 karat at least All right so I make contact on the edge of the coin and the paper for 3-4 seconds and then I will start dragging the line and you can see here a very sharp orange brown color here and if I continue dragging, the line continues. And I will go until the end here. You can see here that the marking is sustained from the beginning to the end. Let's say we are not sure if this item is really 22 karat. It could be a very good plated 22 karat item. So on the same spot here, I will do a second line. And let's see if it can hold a second line at 22 karat. So here you can see that there is a marking at the beginning. And the marking continues. Here you can see 
is still the same quality of marking even I do a second line on the same edge of the coin here we have a second line so the first line already tells us that it is a 22 carats and then I did the second one just in case if it's a very thick plated but you can see that both lines are very thick and very stable so we can conclude that this item is at least 22 carat it is actually 917 gold so 22 carat plus we are now going to explain how the testing strips work and how to maintain them as you can see here this is the strip that I used just a few seconds ago and the markings are still very sharp here actually after a few after a few hours they will start to disappear like you can see here and also on earlier tests I did with this strip the marking have almost disappeared so after a couple of hours you can use again the same strip also you can use the other side of the strip so let's say you have tested on this side you can right away turn it up put it back into the tester and do new tests on this river side once you have finished using the strips make sure that you always put them back into their sealed plastic and back into the box the idea is that as long as the strip is still uh, wet with that specific liquid for testing it will still work but once it dries out the results will not be good and eventually the strip will not be useful anymore so please always keep the strip into its plastic and well in the box the garden touch is an extremely robust piece of equipment you can use it indoor and even outdoor however if you don't use it for a while please remove the battery. More importantly, at the end of every use, make sure you clean the testing area with a paper towel. Also, the testing stripes has to stay in the plastic vise at all time. Firmly zip the clip so that it doesn't dry out. Thank you for watching our video and we're looking forward to hearing from you.